For project four, I've decided to interpret the work of Raghu Rai. He's an Indian photographer and photojournalist. Born in the small village in modern day Pakistan, he grew up and became a photographer in 1965, later joining the staff of the Statesman and New Delhi publication. Until 1992, he was the director of photography for India Today. He has won awards, one being the Photographer of the Year from USA in 1992, and has been featured in many exhibitions over the years. An interesting quote by him is, the photograph has picked up a fact of life, and that fact will live forever. He has worked on special issues and designs, contributing picture essays on social, political, and cultural themes. He has specialized in extensive coverage of India and has even written books. He continues as a correspondent of Magnum Photos. Rai has photographed in many different places such as Bangladesh. His portfolio titled The Price of Freedom, which displays a lot of poverty in life there through portrait photography in black and white. In contrast to that, he has photographed a lot of nature, specifically trees in his por tree portfolio. In his Mumbai portfolio, titled Mumbai, he showcases not only black and white imagery, but color imagery as well. His images overall have a main focus of showcasing life in the place he is photographing. Taking a look at an image from the Price of Freedom Bangladesh portfolio. Taken in 1971, this image shows a woman who is sad and wiping a tear from her eye. Rai's use of black and white emphasizes the sadness that this image portrays. There is no room for greater, deeper contrast between highlights and shadows, which makes facial features clear. The blurred background helps put all the focus on the woman as she is the subject. He uses a centered composition with lighting from the front. This image is an interpretive image as it isn't quite clear why the woman is sad, or even if she is sad and for that regard. It is up to the viewer to interpret what exactly is going on. Overall, the image is powerful and speaks to show the true emotion of the subject. Looking at this slightly different untitled image of a tree, the symmetry of the tree makes this aesthetically pleasing, as this is an aesthetically evaluative image. Again, the black and white coloring allows for distinctions in shadows and details to be clear. The diffuse lighting, however, doesn't create hard shadows per se and adds a softer feel. Keeping the tree toward the right side allows the focus to be on the tree, but shows the space surrounding the tree and contributes to the overall composition. This image is truly interesting to look at and I think it is overall great. The final image from the Mumbai portfolio is different from the last two. This image is in color, and here Rai takes an initial image and then uses a slow shutter speed to allow for the rest of the crowd besides the main subject to appear smeared and make time almost look as though it is flying by around the men. This is yet another example of theoretical photography where Rai takes a non-traditional approach. The bullseye effect is used placing the subject in the center of the image, drawing full attention to him. The symmetry of the image, with two trains on each side, adds a set dimension and confinement that is easing for the viewer. Overall, this image shows the overcrowded conditions in an India train station. Overall, Rai takes creative approaches for his photography to document life in countries like India and Pakistan. He uses various color techniques as well as different compositions to convey the message he wants. It is important to note that he seems to really value placing a distinction between background detail and the main subject of the image. And overall, he produces incredible images that tell a story and definitely allow the viewer to delve into what's going on.